A public firestorm over the skyrocketing price of EpiPens has led to a surprise announcement from the pharmaceutical company at the center of the controversy. Mylan Pharmaceuticals now says it will offer its own generic version of the life-saving drug for half the price. But that's still three times what it cost just a few years ago. NBC's Tom Costello is in Washington, D.C. with more on this. Tom, good morning. Good morning, Matt. Uh, this may be both a PR move and a financial move as Milan Pharmaceuticals has found itself in the bullseye of controversy over what many believe is excessive company drug pricing over its EpiPen and profiteering. Milan Pharmaceuticals now says it will soon offer an identical generic version of its life-saving EpiPen rather than $600, $300 for the generic, a 50% discount, but not the typical 90% discount common with most generics. This is all a very convoluted mechanism to distract from the real issue, which is that Mylon has been price gouging the American public for years. The evidence, say critics, two moms in two different countries. In North Carolina, Tracy Bush keeps three EpiPens on hand for her son, Devin. A few years ago, my son had a reaction to watermelon, and it was literally seconds that his throat started to close up. The price, $600 each. Meanwhile, in Canada, five-year-old Lucien Gavin also has life-threatening allergies. All dairy, peanuts, tree nuts, eggs, wheat, and chicken. His family keeps six EpiPens on hand. The price at the pharmacy, $100 each. To me, it doesn't make any sense uh, for such a difference in price. It's one of those things that makes me very happy to be Canadian. <laughs> Why the price difference? The marketing is not the same in Canada. They negotiate prices because there's drug plans. So all of the drug plans, they'll be buying in bulk. It's provincial governments that are negotiating the prices. So they try and bring the prices down. The drug itself, epinephrine, has been around for years and cost just $3. Analysts say the plastic auto injector is also cheap. Last week, Milan's CEO, Heather Bresch, blamed the skyrocketing costs on middlemen who demand bigger and bigger cuts. Our health care is in a crisis. It's no different than the mortgage financial crisis back in 2007. This bubble is going to burst. Milan, by the way, makes a billion dollars a year on EpiPens. This morning, it says the generic could be on the market in the coming months, but consumer advocates say many anxious parents may avoid the cheaper, identical generic and stick with the more expensive brand that they know and that they trust. Guys, back to you. All right, Tom Costello. Tom, thanks. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.